Well, welcome to those who are here live, and we do get a lot of folks listening to the recording. So my name is Jen Ward. I've been with Dow Labs since we, let's see, since October. Um, I've been a practitioner for a little over six years, but studying Chinese medicine since 2004. Um, also a virtual health coach and incorporate Ayurveda. Um, but I also have about 15 years in, in marketing and sales. So I, I've been a fan of Dell Labs since they launched because I felt like as a company, they were doing a lot of things that I didn't have time to do for myself and my clients, such as, you know, really sharing great articles from the practitioner community. Um, you know, I loved how easy they made it because I was a practitioner that worked at a clinic that didn't keep a lot of inventory. So Dow Labs worked for me in that I could still recommend, um, but have folks um, order direct. So that part worked for me. And since I've been, my role at Dow Labs is really one of working with the acupuncture community and you know really providing you with all the resources. And this has been something that I've really, you know, been trying to figure out because we have almost 400 practitioners and we have about 35 really actively using their LinkedIn code. So that was kind of the thought behind this panel was to just bring in, you know, a few folks who will go through who's on the, the line here um, and their backgrounds because I, I love it. We have some folks that have been with us a couple of years um, and then someone that's new. So we'll just dive right in that. Um, we have three practitioners on the phone. I have some other just tips and tricks from other practitioners who couldn't join us. And then hopefully we can continue this conversation and, and all learn from each other. So I'll just do quick intros and then we'll open up the panel. So we have um, Gary Williams and Gary is one of our newer Dow practitioners since March. Um, Gary is the owner and operator of Smiling Buddha Body Work in Bankers Hill, San Diego, where he integrates acupuncture, Twina, Reiki, herbal medicines to provide care for a variety of patients. He considers himself a general practitioner and tends to focus his practice on women's health, LGBT health, and helping those with somatic emotional issues. He received his most recent schooling at PCOM in San Diego and the International Professional School of Body Work. Um, and Gary's been really active on social media too, just like our entire panel here today. Um, and then we have Molly Rhodes, who is an acupuncture physician and Chinese medicine herbalist with her own private practice, Rhodes to Health Acupuncture in Sarasota, Florida. She considers herself a skilled herbalist, loves using herbs, writing custom formulas, and due to the frequency and, as we know, maybe not favorable taste of some traditional formulas, in conjunction with her practice being located in an area where patients are new to TCM, Molly realized, um, you know, they were not being as compliant to get desi desired results. So when she found Dow Labs, um, she's been really successful using the formulas with patients ever since, and compliance is no longer an issue. Results have been on par with many of the traditional formulas. I also found that in my practice, which you know we'll, we'll talk as a group shortly. And then Sarah Gerard is um, you know, one of our partners because Sarah is um, a yoga and meditation teacher. So her wellness journey began at a young age when she was diagnosed with a rare eye cancer too. Growing up in and out of the hospital, Sarah lives her life based on the foundation of resiliency and creativity. She is an advanced yoga and meditation teacher and mentor with a thousand hours in nationally accredited educational settings. The past 15 years has taught across the country building corporate wellness programs, leading international retreats, guiding teacher trainings, and her favorite meeting with clients one-on-one. -on -one. And Sarah, you know, does have, you know, a large network of other um, practitioners that she works as well. Um, so welcome everyone. I think yourself, um, the folks on the panel anyway, and we are just, we'll dive right in. So um, we'll start with 
like I said, Gary has been new to us in March, and um, Sarah's been with us three years, and Molly, too. So I thought we could just dive in and just talk about how you're typically using your LinkedIn code. So Gary, I know, you know, we've talked a little bit about Linktree and you do some things on Instagram and Facebook. So if you can maybe share, you know, in that regard, how you're typically using the code um, with clients. Sure. Uh, usually what I'll do is, uh have a formula of the day or formula of the few days uh, that I will post a picture of or content for on Instagram and have it in the link to that formula page using my code uh, or using the link rather uh, in my link tree and share that post on Instagram and then automatically share it to Facebook. The thing with doing that though is Facebook doesn't, uh, Instagram doesn't let you type in links. So if I say click the link in my bio, that doesn't make sense to a Facebook user because it's not called a bio, it's your actual website on Facebook. So instead I'll go in. Right to Facebook and manually post that link and edit where I said, click the link in my bio to say, oh, click the link here and use like a pointer finger emoji or something like that and then post the, the URL. So that way it's got the actual uh, reference code in that. It's very, you're, uh, it's easy to use because you find whatever you wanna do, plug that into the generator on the affiliate uh, page that you have and then boom, you got a new, URL each time. I think that's the thing that I found from being an affiliate with uh, ear seeds that a lot of the practitioners were having an issue with. So it was just a technological thing of like, oh, all I have to do is plug this into the generator, click, and it gives you the code. And for some reason that mm -hmm. wasn't. Mm -hmm. We're we're very uh, woo saw and. Uh, and hands-on type people, so sometimes the technology doesn't uh, work well with us. <laughs> or us with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you also, I know, like, we've had conversations where just, you know, patient direct, like, you know, really, oh, yeah. really uh, you know, we talked about the relationship that you have with your patients, too. Um, oh, yeah. Well, actually, we'll save we'll we'll save that because I think that's a you know really important thing too. And then for the folks on the panel, you know, one of the thoughts you know that I'd like to get out of this is um, you know take a lot of what we're talking about today, and then if folks you know add to the conversation who are joining us, um, you know, we'll continue the conversation on our Facebook group, you know, and just really compile you know some best practices because you know maybe someone hasn't is you know, sort of new to Instagram and hasn't worked with, you know, an ear seats to kind of learn, oh yeah, this is what folks are doing. Now I'll incorporate that. And so that's my goal. I see that as my role to really, you know, help share knowledge from, from the community here. Um, and then continuing to give more education um, to our practitioners. So any other thoughts? And then we'll move to Molly to answer the same question. Any other thoughts, Gary, on that particular, just, you know, maybe how you're using LinkedIn code other than working direct with patients, which we'll talk um, about next. Yeah, I'll save that one because uh, I was getting ready to go like, eh, and then I've, I've, that's the one I've got. So uh, <laughs> that's pretty much all I okay. do is uh, straight through social media, uh, through Instagram mainly, uh, through the bio there. And I have changed my website link which used to be smiling buddha bodywork.com is now linktree smiling buddha bodywork basically or smiling buddha sd so that way that's the same on facebook and on instagram i can't tout the praises of linktree enough because it's free and it gives you a chance to save those links and manage your content you can have up to like a hundred links or something like that maybe 75 for free so that's a good thing. Oh, right. Yeah, the free version. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There is so even the free version is, 
yeah, even the free version is super helpful and people are used to seeing that now on Instagram. So they're not looking at link tree with your name going, what is this? This looks fake because yeah, it, yeah. enough other people, influencers are using it to where the average person can yeah. and be totally fine with it. And they're, so I, I love it because then Great. I can have that same phrase, that URL code and just hide it if I don't want that one up, but then click it active if I do want it up. Great. And and you find every other, you're changing that every week or just? You uh, know, usually what I do every couple of days. formulas. Exactly. Oh, okay. Like if I'm doing a post, like if I have a few patients come in with digestive issues this week, then I make it a point to post a few things referencing that. I'll probably post some stuff with ear seeds and then just some basic acupressure information and I'll leave that code up for a few days. Now, um, I may do that like two different codes a week, maybe three if I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> but that mm -hmm, tends to mm -hmm. be, I try to leave content for a few days so that way uh, people aren't confused when they go and they're like, oh, that's not there anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, You're welcome. Molly, how about you? Yeah, so I use my code and link primarily um, when I'm prescribing directly for patients. So I like to specifically email a patient or text a patient the link and the code and when I, after I've talked to them, let's say if I see them in clinic or if I do a, a telemedicine conference, then after we discuss, we figure out which formula is best for them. I'll specifically prescribe to them, hey, I want you to go pick up emotional balance and here's the link, here's the code. So I've found for me that I've been the most successful when I directly send a single person the link in the code. Because then they also know that this is more, this is not like, oh, I'm just sending this to everyone. Like, if you want to get it, that's fine. I'm really trying to tell them, like, this is your prescription. This is what I want you to do and making it really easy. Um, I also, when I'm doing any newsletters for kind of my patients overall, I might put a little snippet on the bottom and I'll discuss a specific formula and then then put the code in there. So I use it more specifically through um, emails directly to patients and also through like a global like newsletter or like a blog post. Okay. Um, I don't know if it's just on my end, your sound kind of coming in and out. It might oh, no. be my, my connection, my but I just, just in case. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Just in case. I thought I would just let you know if there's any sound um, that you can fix. We're able to hear you, but we just have to really concentrate. Okay, I'll try you know. to adjust it a little um, bit. Is this better? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's better. way better. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you. So, um, so it sounds like using the link and code, um, you know, direct with patients, we'll, we'll get, you know, into more. And that's what I would also do is, you know, when I would give the patients, I would write it down for them, but then I would also follow up with like an email. So it was right there. Um, I also found over the years that just giving them the code was better because they were just used to maybe putting in a discount code. Um, and then you said, you know, your newsletter, do you, with your newsletter, will you kind of feature like Gary was talking about, you know, maybe he's seeing a couple people in clinics that have digestive issues, whatnot. Um, do you kind of rotate what you talk about maybe in your newsletter and then put a formula based on an article or will you just like feature a formula? Absolutely. And so, for example, over the past few months, I've, when I'm sending newsletter out, I'm really focusing on immune support and stress management. So we're going to put a lot of influence on those two formulas, the cold and allergy and emotional balance, like during this time. And then of course, you know, sleep's been a big issue with people right now. So I try to like not go crazy because, you know, I want to feature all the herbs all at once, but it seems to be best would I pick one formula and maybe for the month more focus on that formula. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Great. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll, cause there's a couple more points that I know from our conversation. So we'll return to a couple more things, but I'll let Sarah jump in too. Um, and I like what you said, Sarah, and talking to me was, you know, trying to, you know, make things easy for clients and we'll, we'll get to that. But, um, you too also said you share directly, but generally through social. So Mm -hmm. any thoughts to add to, to the conversation so far, maybe some things that you've learned in using your code? Absolutely. Thank you. And thank you, Gary and Molly for sharing um, your tips. I mean, I've been noting that things down too. I'm like, Oh, I've got to, I've got to do these things too. Um, <clears throat> so in terms of uh, overall, I definitely do feel uh, like a hands-on direct, um, you know, single person direction really does uh, increase uh, a person's likelihood of, of, you know, purchasing and investing in Dow Labs, but then also repeating that business and making that return really, um, really beautiful in that they are they, they know the value of the, the product once they try it and then they can, they, it's like they just automatically are using it more and more um, in re- repetitive succession as they need it. Um, and that kind of takes off a little bit of my needing to, to follow up with people because the product really just, it's, it's so beautiful and it's so wonderful for themselves. So if I do that very specific direct give them my code through an email after I've talked to them about it and send them to the site, um, then they will go through it um, very most often themselves. In addition um, to that, I also have created blog posts on my website, uh, just creating a little bit more general information about why somebody would want to be using the the hormonal balance uh, kit for um, very specific things like that, you know, specific products. And then I also um, have done stories built out on Instagram uh, about Dow Labs and how I personally use Dow Labs. And then, uh, you know, in addition to creating that kind of connection on, on social, I've also, you know, create the connection as much as we can, you know, as much as we were able to about six months ago in person. And I do that when I facilitate retreats. And so I love giving uh, giveaways. So, you know, for a retreat, it's like everyone's traveling. We're all nervous. Our digestion is already, you know, out of whack. So I always greet people with immunity boosting and digestive health. Um, and that kind of exposes them to what this is. They, they spark up a conversation. And especially for what I provide, I provide so much movement and meditation in my practice that many are looking for that kind of supplemental component to Im- enjoy their, their, the healing properties from the inside that, that traditional Chinese medicine can lead them into. So it's, um, it's been a really, I think, rewarding journey for most of my clients who have, you know, tried the product and continued to stay with it because they notice the positive effects that they have. Um, and then of course, if they're looking for something much more specific and targeted, I do always, as, as Jen said, I do work alongside with tra- traditional Chinese medicine practitioners, and I will always, you know, send them that direction as well because what I can do and provide is a much more general exposure. And um, that usually piques their interest into developing a relationship with a practitioner on their own. So that, that I think is really important yeah. for us as well to have this building of resources and referrals um, and supporting each other. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've, you know, been, I mean, you've been with Dow Labs longer than I have and you know, I'm just <laughs> such an advocate for the medicine, just like, you know, our entire staff as well. Um, so, you know, it's been quite unique and, you know, really exciting. So um, you both, all three of you have brought up, you know, a couple more questions, but I want to jump back to Gary because I did say, oh, we'll come back to working with patients directly, but that just naturally came up in the conversation. So we'll circle back to you and you can kind of talk about that. Cause I know within, in all of our cases, it is our relationships with our patients. It is, 
you know, educating them. So I'll let you chat about oh, that yeah. a little bit because um, that is a big part, I know, for you as well. Uh, what I usually do, because everybody is so digital, they have their smartphones on them. Um, I accept payment for service using Square and stuff like that. So while they are, uh, a lot of us acupuncturists will call it baking uh, on the table with their needles and I know what formula they're going to need. Uh, so then I will text them the link so that way they have it right on their phone. They can pull it up if, we, if they want to look around at it. We can talk to that. Um, and sometimes I give them additional patent medicine that, that I carry in stock at the office. So then I can say, okay, this is the one from Dow Labs that I want you to take, you know, take this, do the once daily or whatever. And then either morning add this supplement or in the evening add this supplement to help balance out what we're trying to do. And that way they can have something they can start on hand. And I do have some samples that I will occasionally give out for uh, product just until they get their, uh, their stuff in the mail, so to speak, uh, that they can pick up from yeah. me. So, so that way they can start the habit of taking herbs, especially if they're not uh, a supplementing person already. Um, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that you brought up samples. Because um, Molly, if you want to talk about that too, because I know that you also will send patients with a sample and code, correct? Absolutely. So I like to do that a lot of, with a lot of my patients. Um, like I said before, the area that I'm in, I'm in Sarasota, Florida. It's a little bit more new to TCM. Um, before this, I was in Santa Monica, California. So it's a big difference between the patient exposure to Chinese medicine. And so when I first got here, I was trying to just prescribe, write all these very complex custom formulas for my patients because I love using herbs so much but then I realized they weren't taking it and they weren't being compliant with it. And so I realized that if I would give them a sample of, let's say, emotional balance, it's one of the formulas I use the most in my practice, um, you know, they can taste it, they can see what it's going to be like. I'll usually give them about two days worth so they can get an idea of what it would be like taking it. And then along with the sample, I'll give them a little card that has the website and the code so they have that directly with the sample. And that seemed to be very successful because it gets them um, you know, exposed to it and they know what to expect and then they're ready to go and order the formulas on their own. Absolutely. Um, and I think you know, that was something that I learned I got out of school. I was so excited. I'm going to do a custom formula for everyone. And then it was like, oh my gosh, those that were willing were not compliant. And, you know, I definitely refined my herbal conversations over the years. But what I found when I started with Dell Labs was the, um, the compliance dramatically increased. And I, you know, joke and say it's, you know, the gateway to Chinese herbs, because then like you were saying, Gary, you know, people, if they're not supplement folks, um, or certainly not herbal, Right, they kind of get in the habit. And I work with a lot of busy professionals. Um, I know everything's quite different right now, but um, that would, you know, come on their lunchtime. And so if they were in meetings or traveling, so the packets were actually great because they could keep at their desk, they could keep at home, keep in their purse, keep in their luggage. Um, so just the convenience too. And I know Molly, you were talking about, you know, working with you know, nurses and PAs, right? We're all working with busy, busy clients and it's about convenience, right? This is our modern patient um, convenience, convenience, but also looking for benefits. Um, and then also you mentioned Molly giving them a card and I'm just letting folks know who are on the phone and I don't know if either any of you use it, but there is the after visit summary um card we call it after visit summary sheet or card it's now on the resource guide as pdf um because we put it there during covid for people that are doing telemedicine and you could just type on there um and then as well people can 
um, you know, order that with people, meaning acupuncturists can order um, or practitioners, partners can order the after visit summary card. Um, so that's what I would do. I would circle the formula, you know, write the code and then their treatment plan and their recommendations on there as well. Any other thoughts so far? We're, we're almost halfway. Any other thoughts on anything that we've, I've just mentioned or that you want to add to anything you've said and we'll go into the next part? Okay. I would say um, the only thing, sorry. What? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to yeah, say yeah. with the, the convenience factor and like the taste thing for me has been a big thing because mm -hmm. Uh, your traditional steeped herbal formulas there's like maybe four that I can think of that actually taste good and that's only if you like licorice <laughs> yeah, yeah. or if you're know, super know, big on cinnamon so being able mm -hmm. to uh, a lot of my patients have taken airborne or emergency so you yep. can speak to that as an example, like, oh, this is kind of like that, except it's in a little packet. And then they're like, oh, okay. And as soon as you give them that kind of, it's kind of like this, then they're all getting, they're, they're all excited to try it and, um, and make it part of their daily yeah. routine, especially if you're talking to the, the efficacy of it and, and the taste. And all of my patients yep. have said it's tasted good. So I've been able to speak mm -hmm. to that to new people and say, oh, everybody has commented that they feel great and it tastes good. Right, right. Yeah. I And I just saw there was um, a practitioner that just posted it. She was in Chicago, an unboxing of the Dow Lab. She just got her sample kit. Um, and she says what I say. She's like, I love it because you can still taste the Chinese herbs behind it. You know, because there's the flavor, but if you know what the for you know like a shallow song tastes like you can kind of tell that it's still there so that that makes me excited because i do think the taste of the formulas the traditional formulas is important but i also know patients being compliant so i like that you know the brilliant team at dow kind of you know left a little bit of that chinese medicine taste behind if anybody else notices that i love it <laughs> um I thought it'd be fun just at this point, um, you know, we're kind of rounding out towards, towards, you know, maybe like 10 more minutes together, but because um, everyone has to get back to practice. However, I thought we would just quickly check in if you either have a favorite um, yourself or one that you are actively, you know, using the most in your clinic, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, I don't know if things are shifting right now or are you using a lot of immunity or yeah. So what have you, seen the most and obviously it depends on your clientele too so we'll start with molly yeah so i have been using a lot lately emotional balance um i'm really noticing that with everything going on globally the stress levels are very high um and so that has been my key formula for the past probably two months um even more than the immunity support which has been very confusing to me like i'll try to get patients on it and they're like oh no we're good with the immune system i'm just stressed um which has yeah. been interesting but what i love about the formulas too for practitioners that might just be getting started with dow labs is that they're very therapeutic and that's something that i was was just, I just wasn't sure when I first started with Dow Labs. I'm like, great, they're, you know, once a day, great, they're going to taste really good, but are they really going to work in the clinical setting? And they absolutely do. I've been so shocked and pleased of how therapeutic these formulas are. And that's something that I think a lot of maybe more traditional um, practitioners might not want to try Dow Labs because they think it might be too too far from traditional Chinese medicine, but I'm telling you the therapeutic therapeutic benefits of these formulas is is on par with the traditional formulas in my experience. And that also goes to show like how you can also use the formula because even though we're, let's say if I'm using emotional balance, I use that a lot with my chronic gastritis patients. Um, so you can still use the formula based on the and get the benefits of the TCM pattern and the TCM herbs that are in there. 
instead of just using it kind of as a blanket for, you know, stress. I don't know if right, that just went right. off on a tangent, Absolutely. but. <laughs> no, no, it's great. And, and it'll lead into our next, but we'll, we'll continue to kind of hear about some favorites. So Sarah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, so, oh, by the way, Molly, I'm in Venice, California. Oh, great. <laughs> I, grew, I grew up here. I've been living in New York for the last um, seven years, but everything is uh, upside down right now. Um, but it's so fun that we're from similar areas. Anyway, uh, my, the one that I've been noticing uh, overall is the request that my clients really want assistance with relaxation, sleep, um, and yoga, I've been leading a lot of yoga nidra. If you're familiar with that, it's a, a tantric mm -hmm. form of meditation to induce deep relaxation and, and deeper states of consciousness. And so it's something that I really love offering and I would then recommend, and I use it myself, the, the sleep remedy for, for me specifically, the physical, um, uh, relaxation, the physical tranquility is, is the blend that I most resonate with. And I also find that it's resonating with my clients who are of the perimenopause and menopausal um, sector of their life. And um, also even in the summertime when you start to sleep a little hotter. So that's what I've noticed that they really do enjoy the, the combination of the two to lead towards uh, a greater greater sleep. And I just also just love the taste of it. I mean, I love that there is, as Molly mentioned, there is like that quality of like, it tastes good, but I also love that there's an earthy, like you can taste that it's really good for you. You can taste that there's a healing property to it. Um, and we also spoke about how accessible uh, Dow Labs is uh, in just like the usability of it. And I think that that really does encourage people to make this a daily ritual, a daily occurrence for them. And, you know, in the way that I work with individuals in my practice is through like the outer layers of the physical body. As, as Jen mentioned, we work with people who are incredibly busy and, you know, I, I see people who are just, they want to get a workout. They just want to, you know, physically move, physically move. And then I, it's like, I low key, like, move them into yoga nidra eventually and they're like oh wait this is what i need and then i'm like well try this what about this if this will really help you sleep then great and they're like yeah this is what i need and i was like okay cool then go see this practitioner go get some acupuncture and then their lives will change right <laughs> when they start to yeah. develop a more holistic rounded approach to to you know taking on the the different things that they've needed really healing and remedies for so it's really really cool absolutely Cool. Um, and then, thank you. Gary? Yeah, I found the kind of that whole relaxation thing has been the same for my crew. Uh, the physical tranquility or the emotional tranquility ones. Um, and sometimes needing to alternate between both. <laughs> With everything yeah, yeah. going on out yeah. there. It's like, uh, take some Gwaipi in the morning and some Xiaoyao in the evening. Uh, yeah, yeah. so yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's been a, an interesting time with people. What the other thing I found with my patients is that because we're not going out and eating at some of the healthier restaurants as much as we would, or, uh, since we're getting more shelf stable foods at home, that people mm -hmm. have been mm -hmm. having a lot of digestive problems. So the need for okay. uh, the Baohuan and even the Gui Bi Tong to, to, for the, the uh, emotional or yeah, the emotional tranquility as that aspect for people to help a little bit with that digestive issue type stuff. Um, so yeah, going that route with a lot of people I've noticed. The one thing, um, yeah, I would say that's the, the funny thing is I thought it would be immunity support and that's going into yep, it. I was like, yep. oh, great. This, and that's what I kind of like pushed and pushed and pushed. But I think people are like, no, nah, I'm good. I already do all that. And I need this. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, okay. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, so it, it kind of came up. Thanks, Gary. It came up in 
you know, a, a lot of conversation so far. Um, and, and it's beyond just using, you know, the code link. It's just like, how do we talk to patients about herbs? So, you know, I, I alluded to that earlier, you know, when I first got in practice and I was so excited and, you know, what I found was the, I didn't own my practice. So the folks that were coming to clinic were new to acupuncture. And so that was a conversation in itself. And so, you know, I did say once, you know, I started using Dell Labs, you know, just the branding and the marketing and I'm a previous marketer. So I thought, oh, this is great. You know, it, it felt more familiar to them. Um, but, you know, I also had to work on, and this, you know, came with time is like, you know, how I spoke to everyone about herbs. And I think you know, all of us here have had conversations about this because in the first visit, you know, I made that like my agreement maybe to myself, maybe like year three, I said, you know, every single first visit I have with patients, you know, I'm going to explain that herbs are a part, maybe they're not coming in for herbs, but that is a part, um, you know, and the results, you know, when you're doing herbs and acupuncture, you know, can help them reach their goal faster. You know, this was just something that I worked out. I, I sometimes would even say, herbal supplements, just simply saying that was instead of saying herbal formula, you know, there were just all these little nuances. So I thought that we could just spend a couple minutes um, because there are a lot of Dow Lab practitioners that are coming right out of school or folks that are practitioners but didn't focus on herbs. So I thought that the three of us, um, I'm sorry, the three of you could also you know, speak to that um, just in general about recommending herbs and maybe what you've learned in your conversations, um, you know, and how you, the language you use. So we'll start with you, Gary. Uh, I found as far as kind of starting the conversation is usually uh, a cost-based thing because people tend to, or my patients tend to think, oh, how am I going to afford taking a supplement and going to see you, blah, 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 blah. And then they start going into that, that fear-based spending thing. But then I explain, like, this is how you treat yourself at home. So you have a treatment every week, every day of the week, rather. So that way you're taking your herbs. And then what I do with you either once a week, once every other week, once a month, whatever we set up in your budget, this is how you're treating yourself at home. So you're prolonging the benefits of that. And then they're like, oh, okay. They, th then they understand that this is the thing that you're doing internal at home to boost what we're doing here. So that way you don't have to come see me as much. Granted, I want to see them and I hope they do. Right. And I find <laughs> that most of my, my, best, my best compliant patients are the ones who see me every week. They already see the value right. in self-care. So really I make, I try to make the conversation more about valuing yourself and that self-care more than about here's another thing to do. Because some people, even right. if it's just opening up an envelope and pouring it into a glass of water, that to some people is like, oh, that's just another thing I have to do. I'm like, no, seriously, yep, it's your beverage. Yep. Like, drinking is your beverage with your breakfast. You know, you're already drinking orange mm -hmm, juice. Just drink mm -hmm. this. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, okay. So you make it part of that, like, yep. you're not really doing anything different. And then they tend to buy into that a little bit better. And Absolutely. Uh, talking I found, about your, yeah, with your personal usage as well, saying, oh, this is, you know, I need to remember to take my herbs in the morning, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, my my patients keep me in line, I say. But yeah, I found that with especially on um, the mental tranquility, like in the evening, you know, a lot of I work with a lot of women's health. And, you know, they just were so excited. It just was so much about, I think, even more than the formula, just them getting on a routine in the evening. And they were like, you know, I'm drinking my drink, you know, like it was just so lovely, because they were just like, oh, okay, at this moment, I'm doing something to take care of myself. So, and that's something where then I, like you were saying earlier, um, where, 
you know, then you kind of say to the next patient, oh, you know, this other previous patient, you know, really got into a routine with this. And yeah, we all have those conversations. Awesome. Thanks, Gary. Molly? Yeah, absolutely. I agree with both Jen, what you were talking about and what Gary was talking about. It's so important to talk about budget with patients because that's going to give you as a practitioner an idea of what your treatment plan is going to look like. And so for some patients, they might only be able to come and see you for acupuncture once a month, but then that's a perfect opportunity to get them on herbs, like Gary was saying, because that's your treatment every single day. And so I found that that's a really important topic to talk about. And Jen, what you were saying is bringing herbs up very early on in the conversation. And I do that a lot with my mm -hmm. patients. And I found that that's the most you know, kind of effective way to get people starting to think about herbs and to know what to expect. And so I'll probably, you know, I'll talk about herbs in the very beginning with the treatment plan saying, this is what's going on. This is our analysis. This is what I, the ideal situation would be for coming in for acupuncture. And then at some point I'd like to get you on herbs. And specifically, I actually, I don't know if this is unusual or not, but I talk a lot and like TCM language with my patients. And at first they're like really confused and then they get really excited about it. And mm -hmm. so then with that, I use that with the formulas. Like I'll say, this formula is for your liver cheese stagnation. And, they're, and then I'll explain to them, oh, you know, when you're starting to kind of get a little agitated and you're getting a little stress, like in those moments. And I actually, seems that the patients like the TCM language, even at first, there's that learning curve, then they're starting to understand, I think, the complexity of the formulas. Um, and I found if, if I tell them exactly what it's doing um, in like a TCM pattern diagnosis and treatment, then they understand a little bit more like how powerful the herbs are. And it's not just some other supplement, you know, that you're just taking and, oh, it might better it might not like no these are have very specific, specific functions and the herbs are really powerful so that might be something if someone is struggling with explaining the importance of the herbs is to like go into the tcm like dive in and it's always a little strange at first because everyone's looking at you like i don't know what you're saying and i say that to my patients i'm like i know this sounds really weird but you're gonna get used to the language and then once they get into it they understand it a little bit better and then they're more um, compliant with the herbs and they're, they understand the value a little bit more. So then they're willing to put, put up the financial resources for the herbs because they really have more ownership of what the herbs are doing for them. Absolutely. Yeah, I um, keep a little jar um, of the actual, of actual herbs and in that first conversation, you know, I'll just say, here's, you know, bulk herbs. And traditionally, you know, we would cook the herbs and you would cook them every two days and drink them, you know, and, and of course, it's, I mean, I think I've only had maybe three people in seven years do bulk herbs, but, you know, I like to just show them. And then I think you and I had this conversation maybe during, you know, early on in, in lockdown of like actually showing um, folks on the website, you know, because the website does have the picture of the herbs, and I will announce it here on the the Zoom today that we, I hope that we will have by the end of the summer product sheets for each of the formulas that like can be used for patient education. So that would, you know, have the formula talk about, you know, the different organ system and then actually each of the herbs, because I do find that is a really good conversation as well. So thank you so much, Molly. Um, I agree with that too, just second then, that with the, yeah. just to chime in on Absolutely. that. Say, talking uh, in school, I think I can speak to, uh, to PCOM, our, our teachers tended to tell us, don't talk Chinese medicine to your patients because they're gonna get freaked out when you tell them that their kidney chi is deficient and their liver chi is whack. So when you do that to your <laughs> patients and they start worrying about their their organs. So I kind of dance both sides of it and said, I talk about the elements and I describe mm -hmm. the, the, the wood elements as, you know, being free and easy and, 
in a perfect world, this is how it's supposed to be. But when it doesn't work that way, it gets all rigid and angry, kind of like General Patton and the Shaoyuan, mm. or you know, the, mm-hmm. this this formula is to treat that. And talking about the elements with them tends to go, oh, okay. They're like, well, I heard you say liver. Oh, the liver is the wood organ. Oh, okay. And then they learn a little bit. Plus, I teach classes in the elements. Uh, for Reiki to my students so that way they can understand a little bit of TCM to tie in with that so then it it works with them so I talk that language to my patients. Awesome. That's so beautiful. (laughs) Yeah and I know you're absolutely thank you both um, Gary and Molly and Sarah you know your conversation probably a little different in that like Mm -hmm. we said as you know, you're recommending as an expert, but then also being an advocate for Chinese medicine in general. Mm. So, you know, I would love your perspective as well. Absolutely. Thank you both, um, Gary and and Molly, for sharing this information, because as as someone who is not a a TCM practitioner, it is important for me to always refer to somebody else, a specialist. And I can speak upon the importance though of, of building new routines and helping individuals fold, you know, Dow Labs into their, into their daily life, just like Gary was talking about, like replacing their orange juice with this. And the, the truth of the matter is I work with a lot of individuals who are, you know, in, they're a lot older than me. They are in their 60s and 70s and 80s and maybe building a new pattern and a new routine can sometimes feel like we're reinventing the wheel a little bit of sorts. And so for me, and especially for the practitioners that I refer my clients to, there is, it's actually really wonderful that we can have like a couple opinions for them, um, for these clients, to to show them that this stuff really does work, um, and that we are both, you know, upon the same team, and that it it because they're hearing similar information, or um, I could say even uh, complementary information from different sources, then the information and the education actually starts to sink in a little bit more and they're more willing to then move forward with creating these newer routines. So that to me is something that I found incredibly powerful for not only my clients, but also um, gaining insight as an expert, as a specialist, as someone who I, you know, I aspire to be. But I, I know that it's important when we are educators and when we're fielding people to to learn new things with us, that it's important for us as educators and as practitioners to also share and refer towards Mm -hmm. people who know Mm -hmm. more than us. And and that's something that I definitely do. When people, when someone's a specialist and knows more about something in a specific area than I do, it doesn't detract from me, it actually adds to the value that I offer to my clients. And so that's something that I really would encourage other people to do as well in a, you know, a holistic, um, a holistic world, a holistic mindset. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this has been so fantastic. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Molly, Sarah, Gary. Um, I didn't send you this question in advance, but it's something that I've thought about while we've been on the phone. And if, you know, like I said, my role is to really get practitioners what you need for your patients. Um, I did announce that, you know, I hope we'll have those product sheets for each formula. Um, You know, as we go through the year, we're going to create new, like a focus, maybe each month, each quarter, where, you know, there'll be kind of a done for you kit. Um, So that would be, let's say, you know, digestive harmony, we'll have you know, product sheet, social media images, you know, and learnings from all of the practitioner community, you know, we'll have a new kind of educational piece for every kit, if you will. So maybe one month, we might say, here's an example of an email, another month, here's another example, because, you know, some people are learning as they go, um, but we can kind of be the aggregator. 
Um, so that's kind of how I see my role. And so these are things that we hope to launch, um, you know, before fall um, to really help you help your patients. Um, so it's, it's the help, help us help you. So in that case, is there anything that you feel like, oh, I wish, you know, Dow Labs could do X, Y, Z as it relates to, you know, LinkedIn code. And we'll just kind of take some thoughts here because, you know, you, you all have been very active in that. So if there's anything you could think of, and we'll we'll take feedback from anybody listening um, can always email me. But I just thought since the three of you are here, we'll just do that. And then we'll close out just after that. So I was just thinking yeah. when, when you yeah. when you mentioned that what popped into my head, it's not specifically about the code, but I know in some of our previous conversations, um, you've mentioned that there are a lot of practitioners that might not be as comfortable with the herbs than others. And that could mm -hmm. be if they're first out of school, or I know that there are a lot of practitioners um, that didn't get as deep herbal training when they were in school. And so I right. wonder if you could set up, um, set up a link between some of the Dow lab that are more comfortable with the herbs with maybe a newer practitioner that wants a little bit more help, kind of like a, I don't know, Ooh, like yeah. a buddy system. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I just, I like when that. you said that, yeah. I was just thinking that Great because idea. then they could help other, help each other get comfortable with maybe how you're using the formulas. And I, I know that you guys do a great job with the blog post and um, on the Facebook groups. There is a lot of good educational material, but I'm not sure if that extra piece, like teaming, like teaming a new practitioner up with someone who may have been with Dow for a while would be beneficial for them. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. Um, and then like, yeah, like you said, you know, we do have, you know, some education on the blog and Dr. Eric um, since March has been doing monthly webinars. He just did one on, cause I often will hear about contraindications um, or dosage. So he just did that this week. Um, so all those get posted. This is for folks that are listening in or, or listening to the recording. All of those are on the resource guide. Um, but I love that. Yeah, again, helping each other. So that's something I love. I like that. I always love looking into new things. I think that's a great idea. Thank you, Molly. Um, Gary, any thoughts or anything you'd like to see? You're newer to Dell, so... Good to always hear. Uh, I think one of the things that the only like suggestion that I could think of would be uh, doing something kind of like a affiliate challenge or something like that. And one of the things I'm also an affiliate with Ear Seeds, and mm -hmm. they kind of did this like a 10 day challenge where you're trying the product yourself. You're kind of they're talking about how to boost it, and they have little morning meetings via uh, Instagram Live or YouTube uh, video, basically, where you could mm. watch and put out a little content and they gave a prize. And the fun thing that okay. happened is that encouraged that, hey, we're in this together, let's share ideas. Because the weird thing I yeah. found as a practitioner is there's a lot of people who want to share and there's a lot yeah. of people who feel like, no, you're stepping in on my territory. Like there's this, no, this is my oh, secret. And I'm like, no, that's not how this works. Like this is, yeah. we should all share our knowledge to help people heal. That's what we're called to do. Right, but right. Different people right. have different opinions on that. <laughs> I, I've heard that too, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Okay. And then um, Sarah. All I have to say is thank you. I'm so I'm so grateful to have been here in this in this space with each of you. And um, for those of you who are listening, thank you. Thank you for uh, lending us your time. And uh, I appreciate I appreciate the community that Dow Labs is creating. Awesome. Well, thank you. I really, really am so appreciative as well as, you know, Dow Labs, everyone listening in for you taking the time. I know uh, practice is, is quite busy now as, you know, some folks are getting back to it and, you know, so many things have changed. We could have a whole other 
panel on that. In fact, we, we probably should do a panel on that. Um, I'm going to stay on just another couple minutes to just let folks know about this resource I have on my screen. Um, the one thing that I just am going to ask you all here live, again, just kind of came up with this, is in this um, resource I'm going to show, there are some examples, but all of you mentioned examples. So of course, I can check out your Instagram, but I know, you know there might be some newsletters. So I would love to follow up with each of you. Um, to maybe get some of those examples or screenshots of things that, that you've done and I can include in this presentation. And if you're not good with that, you can just, you know, send me an email. But I, that's something I'd like to do as a follow-up to this. I, I just thought about that as we were on the phone. So, so big thank you to the three of you. And then I'll just stay on a couple minutes. You're welcome to stay on or if you have to get back to practice. Um, definitely um, go ahead and do so. I'll just kind of talk about this resource. But any last points that anyone wants to make before we close out that part, before I just go into this little resource here? I'd just like to say thank you so much for having me on. And it's so nice to talk to Gary and Sarah and, and you, Jen. There's just a lot of really great things happening with Dow Labs. And, you know, figuring out how to get our codes used and our links more used more easily. It really helps bring all of this together. What Sarah was saying of, you know, just being a community and helping each other out. So I really appreciate you having me on and I'm really excited about everything that Dow Labs is doing. Great. Thank you. Yeah. All the best to everybody. Anything else? I'll say ditto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you all for sharing your experience okay. and yeah. uh, everything and for uh, for setting up an affiliate program like this in, in the first place. Yeah, absolutely. And this has been so energizing for me too. I just, I really like these conversations. We did one on social media. We didn't necessarily like focus it on Lincoln Code. It was just you know, how do we use social as acupuncturists, right? There were folks on the panel that just like love doing it. And then there were others that outsource. So that is another um, kind of conversation slash panel that's um, live on the resource guide. And, you know, if anybody listening or, you know, if anybody who is participating um, after the fact, if you have any ideas of types of panel, you'd want to see, um, definitely let us know because it is collaborative. And I did want to keep this to an hour. I'm just going to stay five minutes just to kind of let those know who are on the phone about this resource and then those who are listening to the recording. But thank you, Molly, Gary, and Sarah. Um, your information will be posted along with as well. So I will just quickly go into this. Thank you, everyone, and all the best. Thank you. Um, thank you, Jen, so much. I look forward to staying in touch welcome. with everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Absolutely. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Um, Have so a great one. Bye. Yeah, bye-bye. Um, so this document um, is posted in our resource guide, and it's just a short document about using a code, link, managing leads. And so this is something um, that is a living and breathing document and will continue to be updated. Like I said, you know, I just thought of different examples um, with each, um, like I said, toolkit that'll be coming out. We'll hope to do a little bit of focused education in a particular area. So um, just to just quickly go through what is here, um, we have, you know, essentially for those that are completely new, you know, what does this code mean? I think the one thing that I didn't ask Sarah Gerard about, and it's something she and I talked about, was a patient, not necessarily, uh, or in her case, a client, you know, she felt like, you know, she wants to make it easy for them as possible. Um, because with the code, sometimes people even, to some, it's really easy because it's just, oh, it's a discount code. I just put that in, you know, like any sort of e-commerce. But other times, it's like having to have the conversation multiple times. So that is something um, I did forget to ask Sarah about. But just, again, that it's our job to just make it as easy for patients. And it's my job to make it 
as easy for you to make it easy for your patients. So um, this is just kind of a little intro if you're listening in and you're new. This is the end of the visit patient summary form. So you can download that from the resource guide. You can purchase hard copy. Um, that, like I said, that was something we added during the time, you know, when, when COVID and folks were having to move to telemedicine. So you can get that PDF version, fillable PDF of, you know, date and treatment plan, what's recommended. You can put your code. So this is another resource. Um, giveaways on social channels. So we actually did have a lot of practitioners that were struggling during this time, um, you know, with inventory. And so, um, you know, some of them were kind of sharing like, hey, you know, I put this giveaway on social or, you know, I sent an email. I, you know, I had, I've never really discounted Dell Labs, but I did a special, you know, 20% off. So um, this was just, you know, a, a recent example, that's why I included that one. Um, Co-promotions, you know, for folks that have um, large social media channels, we, you know, can figure out ways, I'm always available for conversations to figure out um, co-promotions together. Um, this is with Aura Space in New York City. Um, here is Gary, um, who's still on the phone. Linktree, I thought, great, we'll put that example. Um, video, this was, I talked about a practitioner that was doing an unboxing on YouTube. Um, I'm trying to get, there is um, an acupuncturist who will be new to Dow Labs. So Dow Labs is not yet on TikTok, but she is. And so that's, you know, a whole new medium for us. I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, YouTube, Instagram Live, stories, um, and then using the link. So there are a lot of practices that um, I just talked to a practice, a couple of practices in California this week that are wanting to um, get the product on their website. So that's where the link comes in. And Erin on our team can absolutely help you with anything technical about incorporating this link on the back end. So for example, this is um, LA Acupuncture Group. So they actually have the products listed um, and so anybody that purchases through LA Acupuncture will, um, you know, that sale will go to LA Acupuncture. So that's an option, um, especially if you're doing exclusive Dell Labs or some people have different products. Um, blog articles, we had someone, um, again, for anyone listening in, blog articles, you can work with us. If you are someone that writes a lot of blogs, incorporate into Dell Labs. We had someone do so this week, posted on social. They got 100 new social followers just by having um, that blog. And then we can put your code, um, you know, obviously the, it would be author, you'd be the author, and then your code would be listed. So for anybody that is um, a blog writer, and does a lot of content, let us know. Email, that's again where you would use your link because someone would link through. Um, I always gave folks in the email the link and the code too. Um, so again, this is just a, a, just a very brief um, overview and we're gonna continue to offer more education. So yeah, this is an example of a blog article. And then um, socializing your link. This is the back end, maybe not used as much. Um, and I've actually not really talked to a lot of practitioners using text. So I appreciated, you know, what Gary said when, when someone's resting with the needles, just, you know, send them a text. So many people don't even use email. It's just all through text. So this is um, in the, the lead dyno back end of when you go into the practitioner dashboard. So what we're hoping to do right now, it's joint vitality. So with each product, you know, we'll say, here's done for you social resources. Um, so, so we're small and we're continuing to add more. So that is one of my goals to kind of give you more done for you in 2020. Um, and then, you know, just some FAQ, um, some best practices. So for example, I had some folks that couldn't attend the panel, but they did mention, um, let's see. So Lisa Green said she often will put articles, educational articles on her Green Tea Facebook page. 
Um, I know Lisa has run many promotions on Instagram and she does a lot of sharing of recipes. We have hundreds of recipes since the time that we launched. If you go to our blog, so that is like great content, you know, folks really love and to share with clients and patients. Um, Kara, let's see, Kara wrote in as well. And she said that she doesn't even really need to do that much to get patients to take it. She often will give folks a single um, packet, a sachet is a sample, and send the code home with clients. And then right away they're, they're purchasing. And she does keep a small inventory only at the office for clients that are not so tech savvy. Um, and then she keeps her code on social media, again, mainly Instagram. So um, just some best practices there. Also, <coughs> excuse me, um, managing leads. So again, this is gonna be in your practitioner dashboard. So if you have an email list or anytime a new client, there's a couple things you can do if you have a new patient, just automatically add them to manage leads. So they're in there. So if they don't do the code, <coughs> excuse me, or don't use the link, um, they're already in the system. And this goes through how to um, how to do multiple, actually, we, let's see, I should say multiple. I will, um, oh, here we go. Here is best practices for the dashboard. So here is instructions, how to upload bulk patients. So if you're listening today and, you know, couldn't even recall that this is something you can do, that is instructions. And again, Erin in our office can help. So. Sorry to take another 10 minutes, um, but I thought it was just good to show you some resources here. Um, any questions? I know, um, Annette, any, if you have any questions, I'll do an unmute. If you have any questions for me. Yes, hi, um, I'm Annette. I'm actually in South Pasadena. Hi. Hello. Hi, uh, I'm hi. very, very new. I'm actually going to start my practice in August. So, oh, wow. uh, okay. yes. <laughs> so I'm very, very new and I'm excited yes. to learn all these practitioners. So this is excellent. I'm really thankful for the information. Oh, uh, awesome. Yeah. Great. So I still have to sign up as a uh, practitioner. And, but one okay. thing that I noticed is that when you first log into the or go into the Dow website, there's mm -hmm. a link for a 15% off. And so I'm wondering if we have a code for our patients and they go to the website and they see this link, are they going to be able to use both or how do we work that? Yeah, um, that those are ending the 15% um, Every once in a while, have, have you seen it consistently or is it just something recently that you've Recent. seen? Yeah, recently. Yeah, every once in a while, like around um, some holidays or something, there might be, but that's something we're trying to be conscious of because, you know, if a patient is getting, you know, if you're telling a patient, hey, use this code to get this percentage off, we want to be, I don't want to say like fair in that sense, but you know, it, it should be that they're getting that discount. So you shouldn't in the future see anything above 10% um, oh. on our side. Yeah, so there wouldn't be anything that's, that's competing. In the past, that wasn't the case. And so some practitioners would actually order for the patient and have them use that code. Um, so if we do have a special for, um, and you can, we, you know, send that via email so practitioners know in advance. So sometimes they will just have the patient use that code. And then if you have that patient email address in your managed lead, you're still going to get the credit for that sale. It's just the percentage that the patient gets would be more in that case. But there, there should be less of those in the future. Very good question. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you for clarifying that. Okay. And I'm excited to Absolutely. learn with you guys and, and use your products. 
Yeah, well, I'm glad you were able to join us so early on here. Um, and yeah, feel free to, Jen at my Dell Labs, reach out to me and we can um, have a conversation as well. Okay, well, thank you, Annette, um, and other folks for joining. Gary, I see you're still here. Thanks again. And um, we'll just close out there. So all the best, everyone, as you begin to navigate this this new normal. Okay, thanks everyone. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.